So hello everyone, back with some more original content. How amazing. Now, if you're a big time white penny YouTube subscriber, you should know that my most played game of all time is Overwatch. If you didn't know that, then you're clearly not a royal the white penny YouTube subscriber, so uh, go ahead and change that. Yeah, my analytics clearly show that most people that watch my content aren't actually subscribed. Oh my kidding, everyone who watches me is friends that I know IRL. So, Overwatch. Big game. Kinda fell from grace. If you guys aren't aware, Blizzard, the company behind Overwatch, had a big controversy last year. And during that, it had kinda been shown that, uh, you know, they were not really working on their games at all, and were just being real lazy and partying all the time. Hence why updates, if, you know, if there were any, and seasonal events were like, bare bones and had, were incredibly lackluster. In a time where Overwatch had really begun to have a downfall in popularity in 2019, they announced Overwatch 2! Which, till date, still hasn't come out yet. Not, not even a release date. But wait, it gets worse. But while announcing that, they also stated that Overwatch 1 wouldn't be getting big updates anymore until Overwatch 2 would come out. Which means that we would be getting seasonal events, we would be getting patch notes, but not big things coming to the game. Not even like extra game modes for the seasonal events itself. Which, you know, we did get, but I think we only got like two in, in, in three years in total, which, you know, that again is like six events per year, being 18 total events, with only two of them getting a seasonal new game out. And, you know, we also got some skin challenges, but, you know, which were nice, but clearly weren't enough for the Overwatch community. But even through all that, I hold on. I love this game too much to give it up. And each year, I told myself, this year, this year will be better. Until around September 2021, where I really started losing interest in the game and eventually stopped playing in the game the next month later. Now, for context, of course, Overwatch wasn't the only game I played. Sometimes I will play Team Fortress 2, Rainbow Six Siege, GTA 5 Online, or Minecraft with the lads. But Overwatch was definitely the one I played the most. So I began thinking of a new game to play. You know, Team Thief 2 is fun, but not really a consistent game to play. You know, same goes for Rainbow Six Siege. GTA is fun, but... For me, it's not really made as a consistent game to play. Again, not as a full-time game. And then there was Minecraft, which uh, I don't know if other people have that, but it was always... Me and my friends always have this phase of Minecraft, like once every month, once like every few months, where we just have this amazing phase of like two months full of fucking Minecraft. We, uh, we pay for our own server, make a lot of shit, get bored of it, and a few months later we have the exact same routine over and over again. Which is fun, but again shows that Minecraft isn't like my full-time game. But then... I found it, rotting in my Steam library, barely even touched for more than 20 hours. Apex Legends. Now, if you would think logically, in my brain, this would already be a slam dunk. I love the thrill and learning curves of a battle royale, uh, played Fortnite until mid-season 8. And it's a story slash character driven game with all unique personalities and abilities that I can hang on to and fall in love with the world that Respawn have created for me. 
I have this game in, sitting in my library because uh, my friends used to play it once and uh, I had to download it, didn't think much of it, but it was fun, but for some reason I really never came back to it, you know, until now. And god damn, it made me so happy to see that the game was constantly getting very big updates, you know, from my usual Overwatch standard. And I also got my friends to join on the Apex hype train. And we're currently in a squad of five people playing non-stop and getting hyped for every new thing coming to the game or coming soon. Maybe someday Overwatch will come running back into my loving arms. Hopefully it will come back with Overwatch 2 and blow the internet away and not go down in delaying decay. But until then, I'll have Apex Legends to keep me company for infinity and beyond. So, did you like it? Quick, quick story session about what's happening. I mean, it's only my gaming part of my life, and I'm not a vlogger, so I'm not gonna tell you about everything else in my life, but hopefully you liked it, my story, my story type. I am scripting this, of course, because I keep looking at my screen and I cannot make eye contact with this, which is very important, which is why I overlay with a lot of images. But I hope you kind of like this game format because I like it. And if you guys would like me to talk more about Overwatch or Apex Legends, like do story, more story time, or just gameplay videos, or just anything under the sun related to it, then please comment it down below. I would love to have more suggestions for videos. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if this format of video stays true. Uh, please be patient for the Five Nights Freddy's security breach. I'm so sorry it takes so long. I just have no time. I have a lot of things on my mind. One, one very big thing that I can only announce when it gets announced on the internet. It's a big thing. It's a very big thing. It's not something for this channel, but it's something for me personally. So if you're interested in it, please stay tuned. You know, subscribe to the channel for more, for more like content like this. Uh, and again, you know, give it a like if you liked it. And stay tuned for all the big things happening and coming soon this year. Thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully, hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And I like the tree Smoke so much weed You wouldn't believe And I get more ass Than a toilet seat Three to the one To the one to the three I met a bad bitch Last night in the D Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me Conversation and